Capricorn what is going on baby it is Mira it is Shiva it is Vibra it is Scorpion Red Tarot I am back at it again one time for the one time to let you guys know the energies that are surrounding you for the month of December 2020 show me the money energy shout out to all my OG shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you guys who have clicked like shared and subscribed to this video or any one of my videos in the past present and surely the future shout out to all of you guys thank you so much for all of the love and support i want to give a big shout out to all of my babies who have been booking personal and private readings with me and i've been sending love this way through the um amazon wish list and the cash app and paypal y'all we are um in the moment of receiving right now okay so we just received um the law of divination called a mancy deck y'all check out law of divination she's a reader here on a youtube page this is her card mancy deck it is very very beautiful i'm pretty sure that you guys probably seen me use it in the collective readings um i want to thank you guys so much for all of you know the support and we also got four decks that are coming in through the amazon wish list so thank you guys again for the love the support the cash app and the paypal donations and all of the bookings it gives it to me so that i can give back to the page so again i really really do appreciate all of the love and support if there's anyone that would like to um book a personal private reading check out the description box check out the about tab on my youtube page it gives the pricing list it gives how to connect with me on instagram i do video readings on instagram if you do not have instagram shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com okay um i'll help get you all set up on google hangouts the only information that we need to exchange to conduct the reading um is email and again mine's is scorpionreds at gmail.com so again um thank you guys for all the love and support we're going to bow our heads right now and give thanks to the father god the creator of this beautiful universe the sky the the sky the star the moon you know the air the you know every single thing that's living here and the fertile grounds that we plant our seeds in so, Father God, thank you so much for creating this very vision that we walk in, Father God. Thank you so much for keeping us in safe, keeping, keeping your hands on us. We're staying diligently in place where we're supposed to be right now and working on our current tasks that we're developing our skills in, Father God. We thank you for keeping us in the current stage of development. You know, um, we're never, you know tired of learning we're never tired of working on ourselves we're constantly constantly trying to perfect the vision that you have for us father god and just walk on that path every day you know we're not perfect but we try our best to just continue to work on ourselves and you know to develop perfection in everything that we are and everything that we do father god so thank you for the way that we grew up <laughs> this season because 2020 you know was very interesting but thank you so much for how much we've grown up this season father god thank you so much for allowing us to keep believing in ourselves and believing in you know the prayers that others have prayed over us that we don't even know about you know because we just know deep in our heart that we got many and beautiful people praying over us and you know that's why we've been able to stay focused and stuff because it takes a village so father god thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons and you know everything that you've been giving us father god so far we're so thankful for what we have and we're so thankful for what we have yet to receive in the future father god we say amen and thank you so much for all of the wisdom that you're going to give us today um for the sign of capricorn uh for december 2020 show me the money amen all right capricorn let's get into this all right <clears throat> let thou not be distracted yes ma'am ciao y'all don't even understand let thou not be distracted, okay? Let's see what the current energy is, what type of energy you guys are going to be in for the rest of this year. Y'all, can y'all believe? Okay, now they're singing, never would have made it, okay, without you, okay? Listen, what is this? yang yin and yang so y'all <laughs> y'all are in the yang phase right now it's not time to be passive right now it's not time to 
I'm not saying it's not time to be patient, but it's time to be action forward. Um, it's time for you to show your skills, to show your worth, to show your truth, to show your wisdom, to show your strength. Like it's time to like allow your gifts and everything that you are, how balanced you are, everything to shine. It's one thing to be the yin. The yin is to be at peace, to peace be still. Right now is not the time to be still. Right now is the time to uh, enact your plan of action. All right. So you guys are in the yang. And then you got the angel of love. Now, I don't know. I didn't even shuffle, but that came out in the reverse. I'm going to put it back, and we're definitely going to shuffle, but mm, I feel like you guys are, um, you guys are moving forward with being inactive on any type of love that you feel like doesn't live up to the standard that you want to live in, basically. Uh, so you guys might be stepping up from stepping down from certain things that you feel like you were not worthy of like I'm better than that you got the angel of balance here so again like you guys maybe I should have kept that card but I feel like you guys feel like maybe certain focus on love in particular um may have got you off of balance I definitely see that you guys are being more active and staying focused you know you're definitely trying to remain calm and continue to keep stepping. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep your cool and keep going. You know what I'm saying? Keep orchestrating the plan of action. It's like you got to... It's like you got to focus on your wisdom. You got to focus on what you know is best for you. And what's going to keep you in a tranquil state of peace right now. Um, it's not time to be sitting down and thinking... And trying to regain your composure right now is about <laughs> stepping in your new title, stepping in your new role. Like, take your role. Be the role. Okay, you got the temple path in the reverse. And then you got the door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. Alright, so again, like, and then this did come out in the reverse as well, but... To me, the only way to get from out of balance is to claim yourself being in balance. So I don't, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to address what needs to be addressed, but I'm going to remain the person in your life that's going to tell you to stay focused. I'm not going to put on this table, oh, you know, you're out of balance, you're out of faith, you're out of luck, you're not. No, 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 no. That's that's not the way I operate over here. That's why we're saying this yank. It's about getting that action going, okay? It's about doing what we need to do. Like, you know, deep in your heart, if you feel something is off. And like I said, I definitely feel like it was too much of a certain focus on love that was throwing you off of other things in your life that were more important. And that's why we are regaining our balance right here. Because one thing that we do have is our faith and our belief in ourselves. Like, that's one thing that we do have. And that's one thing that we are going to walk on. So, I don't even play that. Now, the temple path in the door to personal uh, healing and happiness is in the reverse. And I'm going to keep that in the reverse. Because sometimes, if you want to talk the talk, you got to walk the walk. And right now, it's time to walk the walk. That's why I'm saying it's yang. We on the yang, yang, yang. You understand? This yang, gang, gang. Do you understand? It's about action. It's about showing your experience. Like, you already know. It's like, listen, I done been through worse than you. Okay? Janae, hey, code don't let us be known. Listen. I done been through worse than you. You know? So, whatever this experience is, you done been, you done beat these trials. You done beat these experiences before. So, don't let it beat you no more. You know, you know where you got to go and what you got to do and how you got to walk and how you got to talk to turn the situation around in your favor. Like, don't let nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, take your personal happiness, take your strength, take you out of balance, you know, put you in a place where it's like, 
throwing salt on your healing. No, I was just healing that wound. That wound was already healed. It already had a scab on it. You're not going to rip the scab off and throw salt in the wound and smudge it in. I'll punch you in your throat. Like one thing you're not going to play is with a Capricorn when it comes to their freaking money and their happiness. Because if I'm not happy, I'm not focused on my money. I'm not balanced. I'm not being the alchemist. Do you feel me? A freaking alchemist could turn sun, a sand into sunshine. <laughs> a alchemist can turn sand into sunshine. They are magical. Do you understand? Most Capricorns that I know, it, it is kind of magical watching the Capricorn kind of do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all have the gift for gab. Y'all have a very good sense of trade, tradesmanship. Like, y'all can sell anything. Y'all can sell anything. Y'all have a lot of good connections and friendships. Y'all like a lot of people like hanging around y'all. Y'all like uh, like the life of the party. You guys have gifted in so many ways as long as you use your talents in the right way. But it's like y'all can let certain things throw y'all off. But y'all always about that action. So just use that action in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? Don't allow nobody to take your eye. Come on. The world better come on. Listen. This is the final chapter in this stage. Do you feel me? This is like, okay, now they playing Sonic. No, but that is so. I'm sorry. Like, I am saying Sonic the Hedgehog going the fuck up. Uh, what was the big nasty man with the uh, the bald man with the uh, with the little uh, whiskers and shit? God, what was his name, y'all, on Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh my goodness. Why I cannot. Oh my goodness. I want them to stop playing the Sonic the Hedgehog music in my head. But I feel like you got the skills. Like you got the strength. You got the ability. Like you have the adorance to beat this stage right here. You know what I'm saying? Now they talk about Master Shredder. What the fuck does Master Shredder have anything to do with it? So what, what, what? We doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles too? So listen. We going back in the day. Think about all the cartoons and stuff. Oh, remember back in the day we used to think we was like a ninja and stuff we thought we was Bruce Lee and stuff like that it's like <laughs> I don't know why I feel like y'all are trying to take me to um movies I mean TV shows and video games it's something about your childhood man okay so this has something to do with your childhood it has to has to okay we taking it back to your childhood. So I definitely feel like it's something about your childhood is what be throwing you off. Like, it's like life is not a game and it's not about playing around all the time. But at the same time, you, you've played a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> y'all played a lot. So you know how to, you know how to play the game, you know? So it's something about these cards that I feel like you kind of like took the cool approach. Like you've been chilling out. You sat down. You were playing it safe. You were trying to like get yourself in this new role of just trying to play the safe route. Because normally you be on go mode. Like, you do be like Sonic the Hedgehog and shit and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out there trying with your friends trying to beat motherfuckers' asses and shit. Because now I'm seeing, like, the Capricorn and, like, and yet when y'all was young, just being young and wild, like, <laughs> thinking y'all, like, I'm seeing, like, a group of you and your friends, y'all running the streets, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, hi y'all, like, you know what I'm saying, beat motherfuckers' asses and just, I don't know, like I just feel like y'all was just wow 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 I just feel like y'all was wow I feel like you decided to like kind of chill out I feel like you guys have decided to chill out and like be on the cooler side of things but I felt like with you doing that um I feel like you were not walking the temple path of what made you yourself no matter how wild it was I feel like someone could have wilded out on you. Because something right here 
something right here made you unhappy and I feel like bust the seams open from something in your childhood I really do and it's like now it's time to get running again now I'm seeing that Sonic the Hedgehog you know what I'm saying it's like I need to complete this stage because I don't want to play here no more it's like I'm tired of games, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of games. Like, I'm tired of walking this path. Like, I don't want to do this shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, even how people, you know how everybody was really excited for that PS5 or whatever the hell it was. It's like, you might not even be tripping over no PS5. Like, you might have grown up. Like, you don't even give a fuck about that shit no more. It's like, it's not time for me to be, I don't want to sit around and play games no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm definitely learning my lesson. I'm completing this stage, and I'm trying to move on to some other shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm grown now, and I'm not about to just sit around and talk about it and things like that and try to take the safe approach, because that's just not me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not a fucking Capricorn. Like, they be trying to be on some chill shit. No, you just need to learn how to learn how to be balanced being a hot, spicy, popping, bossed ass, <laughs> chill ass, <laughs> you know, person that you is. It's just like you just need to learn how to balance that shit. That's all. That's all. Like, don't change who y'all are. Because I feel like when y'all be trying to be something other than who you are, you be letting people run over you and, and shit. And, 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 and I don't know. What is this, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse? So you guys are definitely coming out of whatever you were worrying about. Whatever was, like, plaguing your anxiety. It's like you were worrying about some type of money. You were worrying about, like, I feel like some type of friendship or negotiation or connections or something. It's like getting a perfect job or, um, like, I just, I want to be let in the door. Like, it's like I'm trying to get my foot in the door somewhere. It's like they keep shutting me out and not letting me into this situation ship with this business like I'm trying to get into this business you know it's like you could have felt like people were playing with you like as if you didn't have enough education or um you didn't have enough financial management skills or something like you ain't been saving your money enough to be with this group or something like motherfuckers try to make you feel like you couldn't sit with them or something like that and you're like nah bitch I'm gonna sit with you whether you like it or not. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got to sit at y'all table. But you definitely going to be seeing me sitting at mine, bitch. So, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might have motherfuckers secluded yourself from motherfuckers and got your own motherfucker table. And now them bitches sitting over there looking at you and your little networking situation that you got going on over there. And now they trying to motherfucker holler across the goddamn floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I might not be at your table, bitch, but we in the same room. Holla if you hear me, motherfucker. I ain't about to play with you. I ain't not about, I'm not about to play with you. I ain't got to listen. Y'all gonna let me in this door, whether you like it or not. Okay? I know how to play this game, and regardless, I will show you my skills. Like, y'all not about to take my, I like, uh-uh. I'm not about to sit back and just play patient and play nice. That's not who I am. I'm a fucking Capricorn. I'm going to go out here and get this shit. I'm just going out smart you, and I'm about to out with you. I'm going to be, I ain't got to be, I ain't got to come through here and be all gangster and stuff like that. Y'all know how y'all Capricorns are, because y'all go... Because y'all some tricky ass little motherfuckers that y'all gonna get to whatever you want to. Y'all gonna get it. Regardless, but it's like I'm not. I'm not the way that I used to be. I don't have to act like that no more. Listen, the fool, again, it's like I'm continuing to walk on faith. Like, I'm not going to let nobody stop me. And I'm not letting no opportunity pass me by. Like, if I feel like it's something for me to jump out there and go, I'm going to go get it. Regardless, regardless, I might not have much. I might just be coming to you barefoot and with my faith and my skills, but that's what I got, and it's going to carry me. It's going to carry me to victory. I'm going to tell you that. I'm about to step my foot out there. I'm about to step my foot out there. I definitely feel like you guys have been walking away from you playing the safe position and trying to 
do what you used to do. You're doing something better than what you used to do. I definitely feel like there's a stage in your life that is being completed. Um, you got the, the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So, yeah, it's definitely something that uh, you're healing from. It's like you're slowly but surely... As long as you just keep walking and just keep moving forward and just trying to claim victory and order in your life, like you're, I can't get to where I'm going sitting down. Like that's just, I swear, it's like that's all y'all keep telling me. Like that's not who the fuck I am because everybody want me to sit down and play this kumbaya shit. I'm not no kumbaya type of bitch. I'm a, I, I, like if, if y'all want me to get over something, I got to be active and be working towards something. If I'm not focused on that, I got to, it's like y'all have to have a constant state of obsession about something. You know what I'm saying? So it's like my, my constant state of obsession right now is not thinking about this and I'm really about to just let this heal and heal you know what I'm saying it's just like you coming out of feeling defeated about whatever situation whatever lack that existed in your life it's not there anymore so it's like this is like the this too shall pass shit I want to say it's like sometimes like you go back and you look at yourself like when you was just laying down and just allowing, because I want to say when you was on that Yang shit, it was like you was being very passive aggressive and just like laying down and letting shit happen to you. I'm not laying down letting shit happen to you. I'm, gra I'm grabbing life by the balls and I'm about to jump out there and do what I need to do. At the end of the day, you ain't, it's like I don't care about being accepted no more. I care about being respected though. That's one thing you're going to know, you know. Because I deserve to be here. You know what I'm saying? I deserve to be here. I don't deserve... Listen, you're right. I don't deserve to sit at your table. I deserve to sit at one of my own. Okay? And it's very close by you. And it's right in front of your face, bitch. So you can see me. Holla if you hear me. Okay? Bitch, now you want to holler across the room. And you want to make trade deals. And you want to see what the fuck me and my crew got going on over here. I told you, bitch. We Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hi, y'all, bitch. I will chop you in your throat out here. Bitch, I told you one way or another. You going to respect me. Okay? <laughs> Hold on, what am about to do? Oh, God. Kaya singing respect me in my ear. And you going to respect me. Yes, Kaya. Listen. Listen, conflict. It's no point of button heads right now. It's no point of button heads. Like, you gonna let me into this door regardless if you like to, you want or not. I feel like you may be in conflict with yourself about taking this position of moving forward and being taking an active approach about not walking this path anymore. Because it's like, They're saying like you've been resisting temptation of doing certain things that you used to do. And you're starting brand new with the full card. Like you literally are starting brand new. It's like you're starting your life all over with a whole new set of foundations and resources and stuff like that. Like you may have a new contract, new group. Like this may be a new job, a new business, a new home. You know, like... You guys might have just moved to a new house, you know. Uh, got some, got some shit in the savings, you know what I'm saying? Like things are finally looking up for you. Things are looking good for you now. So it's like, it's no point of being in a state of conflict within yourself. What is this saying? It says willpower. It's, no, it says will to power, hostility, jealousy, stubbornness, aggression, fear, competitiveness, controversy. What the fuck could you be possibly butting heads about? Let me see. Yeah. Because it's like you complete in something. It's like. You and maybe your old self may be constantly butting heads because it's like you're at the stage of completion. It's just like just don't fuck it up and don't let your old self get in the way. And also, 
being around people that's going to allow you to change and be successful for once in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to be around nobody that I was button heads with. Like, that part of my life tending towards in the reverse, that's over. I will regain balance. And this is a new chapter in my life. A stable ass child. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm moving into a new point in my life of victory and stability. Like, I didn't go through everything that I experienced here for uh, for nothing. Like, I went through that so that I could remember what that felt like. What that hurt, what that betrayal, what all of that shit felt like. So I know what not to do and how to walk forward victorious and successful in all of my future endeavors. So at the end of the day, listen, okay. There is some type of conflict going on right now where you could be button heads with somebody or like I said, even button heads with yourself. You know, looking at your old self in the mirror and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you are, like I said, Sonic the Hedgehog, you are completing that stage. Now they're playing that goddamn music again. Final attainment, victory, crescendo, job well done, perfection, peak performance, prudence. It's like I finally get get a chance to do what I want to do and to like have freedom. I'm seeing financial freedom. Um, it's like you guys had to complete a stage in your life so that like success and abundance could come to you. And it's like, but you had to find your own way. You had to make your own way through this, through the system. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like you had to find your own way through the system. But, and I want to say it's because... You found new connections. It's like you found new connections. New connections with the fool. What is this? This is like the excesses in the reverse. So it's like you might, you're not living life in excess anymore. And that may be what caused uh, whatever. Because you just came out of the five of pentacles in the upright. So you might have just came out of like homelessness, lack, uh, uh, depression, you know what I'm saying, like, emotional, like, depression because of lack and, and not being able to live your life in a certain standard, like, you might have been uncomfortable, like, not being able to buy you and your kids the certain clothes or, or, or food, having to live on government assistance or receiving help from people, you know, like, just feeling like, a castaway or just push to the side all the time like everyone else is living this certain big life that you wish you had and you just sitting there watching everybody from the sideline just dealing with whatever scraps the world has to give you like that's the five of pentacles in the upright so I feel like because you've Come, you know what it feels like to have nothing. You know what it feels like to come from nothing. You know what it feels like to be poor and having to survive. So you know not to live life in excess no more. And that could be something that you could be struggling with right now. It's like remembering where you came from. Looking forward to what you have in the future. Like, I finally got some money in the savings. I live in a nice place. I have my own car. I got a new job. My kids is in a good school. Like, life is doing good for me. Like, I, I you know, I have to continuously look at myself in the mirror and remind myself, listen, remember where you came from. We can't blow this gift. We can't blow this blessing. We're not going to spend and live our life in excess. And the next thing you know, we be in that five of pentacles in the upright again. Be asking God and be having me helping. No. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I can't do that. It's like stacking one bill on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. Trying to help this person and this person and that person. And saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Nah, I'm about to just chill right now. And just enjoy what I got. And just keep shit real simple and basic right now. It says stress, overload, exhaustion, obsessiveness, gluttony, burdens, worry, the breaking point. This came out in the reverse. So, and I am acknowledging that. I, I, I definitely feel like you've completed 
allowing yourself to take on too many burdens to, to tackle things that's not even your fucking problem that's not your job to do that that's not like i'm not about to kiss nobody's ass be doing too much of shit where i'm taking away from my freedom trying to do shit for other people living my life to excess stressing myself out for no fucking reason fuck no they could do that shit they so listen I'm selling past these obstacles Life moves on, you know. Relieving my relieving myself of burdens and unnecessary stress. It says unexpected obstructions, frustrations, difficulties, feeling hopelessness, struggle, discouragement. So again, I definitely feel like hmm, we're we're going to find out here. Because there's something that's going on right here. And I want to say that you're finally free of, of, some, of some burdens. But there's, I, I want to say that there's a daily struggle and a conflict within yourself to like remind yourself to continue to move past those obstacles and those burdens that don't pick up things that don't belong to you like you're free enjoy your free time don't tell people that you're going to do shit that you don't have to do like you know what is this and again the seven of bows like i told you like clearance you see this says right here clearance okay so but this came out in the reverse please make sure that you always stand up for yourself and think about what you need and what matters most important to you first okay because it's like people don't have to be mad at you unless you put yourself in situations where you're obligating yourself to do shit unnecessarily you know what i'm saying so it, it, this is like stop putting yourself in situations like that you know what i'm saying like communing with people that you really don't need to even be talking to um People accusing you of shit. Because this is like people accusing you of stuff. And say, oh, well, you know, you said you was going to do this. Or blah, blah, blah. Or I seen you and you said that you wasn't going to go here. But I seen you, my friend. So, like, what? You know what I'm saying? So, it's like clearing out confusing, stress, drama, unnecessary accusations. Having to stand up for yourself. And, like, defend yourself against opposing people for no reason like people come in and try to sneak attack you like this is you getting cut off guard with bullshit and things that you didn't see coming your way you know because you didn't you, you didn't necessarily stand your ground with people so people think that they could come and fight with you and they think that they can come and start stuff with you and 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 you know what i'm saying because they want you to pick up a burden because that's what you used to do you, you you normally used to do it you know what i'm saying you normally used to wash my clothes you normally used to let me use your car you normally used to pick up my kids you normally used to go and um let me use your grocery car you normally used to do this you know what i'm saying so that's like the, the like you finally might get to the point where you don't need assistance no more so this is like okay Say you was you was on government assistance at one time, right? And because this was a friend of somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you was getting a lot of money on your food stamp card, you was letting people get like maybe a hundred dollars or something on your food stamp card, and you wouldn't even trip off of it or whatever, whatever. But now, like, you don't need government assistance no more. You're not on government assistance no no more. So it's like, why y'all coming at me so hard? Because you know, I can't do the same things that I used to do for you no more, whatever. It's like you coming down on my back. So this could be like a sneak attack where it's like a conflict where it's like you couldn't even, you didn't even see this shit coming your way. It's like, what you, what? Like, <laughs> I, I'm glad that, that I completed that I'm not on government assistance no more. So I can't give you my money. Like, that, that's my money. Like, that, that's not a free food card <laughs> you know what i'm saying we ain't hurt nobody you know what i'm saying like no nah, nah, i'm not I just no i can't do that listen the queen of stones you see how the, the, the big bear she's like no back away no this is my foundation these are my kids these are like i don't want to 
I feel like you are learning how to stand up for yourself and protect your investments and protect everything that you want and that you prayed for and that you've been fighting for. No, no, you can't take advantage of me. No, you can't come eat off of my plate. No. No. It's like I'm not trying to take no aggression out on you, but at the same time, you're not going to come and bitch me around neither. You know what I'm saying? So at the same, it's like, you might be trying to clear certain people out of what out of the way that's in your life or certain things that you might have been doing in access and people might be kicking back some aggression. And the fuck? What is this? Is this the six of stones in the reverse? You're not going to this is this story is telling itself. Oh my god. You're not going to exploit me. I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to do that shit for you no more. No, look at these motherfuckers. It says exploitation. Do y'all see that shit? No. No. I can't continue to... Like, I feel like I've helped you enough. I've done enough. I've done enough. It, it could be like someone trying to take advantage of you because of what you have to give and not genuinely around you because... You or you. It's like you might have regret giving to... It's like feeding a flock of pigeons. And it's like every time you move, like you can't get away from them. They keep following you like, oh, can I get can I get a dollar? Can I get this? Can I get some bread? Can I get... No. No. I had to go and get a job for my own. I had to go and do this and take care of myself. You need to make the same steps and you got to do what you got to do for you too. No. Like I cannot continue to give. If I continue to give to you... I won't be able to give to myself. So you may be backing people up from your home. You understand? Know Avoiding conflict and drama and unnecessary arguments and shit like that. No, you need to go and fend for yourself. No, you can't keep coming over here eating all of my food and asking me for my food stamp card and all of this stuff. Bitch, I don't even want a food stamp card. Do you understand? The queen of pinnacles is someone I need to... I want to be in a financial predicament where I can take care of myself. I don't want a fucking food stamp card. You go get a food stamp... I want, what, you want me to tell you how to get a food stamp card? Like, y'all, listen, if I had to go get food stamps and crawl my way up to the... and get myself stable, you got to, too. You can't... We could just keep coming around here. You can't do that. And I don't mean to, like, disrespect my friends or nothing, but y'all gotta go away. No bullshit. Listen, the Wheel of Fortune. You finally getting your shit together. You finally getting new clothes. You finally, like, and it's like you had to get this shit from scratch. Like, from scratch. Like, you might be making your own shit. Like I said, you all might have your own business where you are starting something from fucking scratch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might not have even needed to receive help this time. I feel like you worked your way up. Like, things just fortunately started to turn your way listen this is the ten of bows in the reverse listen it says responsibility you are dropping the responsibility of carrying the load for other people that is not your own i am not ever going to be in the position that i want to be carrying unnecessary burdens i'm putting that shit down i need to put the focus on myself point blank period i really feel like that's why I feel like that that chapter is over of you taking care and kissing people's ass and rocking the fucking boat to your fucking blessings and shit. No, they need to back down. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing all of that extra shit for y'all no fucking more to sit at y'all table. I'm just going to be focused on creating my own fucking table and worry about people who want to sit with me. I'm not worried about wanting to sit with you. I'm focused on who want to sit with me, period. I'm not kissing nobody's ass to be letting no motherfucking door. I'm going to find my way in the space regardless. And you're going to see my face. The same motherfuckers that you see going up. The same motherfuckers you see going down, bitch. So when you go down, I would say, take care. Nice to know you, bitch. Okay? The fuck? You ain't want to let me in this door anyway. You ain't see it for me anyway, so I don't give a shit. At the end of the day, I'm not going to allow that to pat me in no passive, aggressive type of shit. Like, you ain't about to slick shade me or nothing like that. No, I'm, I'm not I'm not worried about no shade. I worry my success 
It's my victory. I'm not even focused on who, what, when, where, how, any of that old shit in the past. That shit don't matter. That matters not to me. And that's how I'm reclaiming my victory. And that's how I'm taking that positive step forward. And that's how I'm closing this chapter because this shit means not a to me. And I don't even give a fuck if you over there at that other table looking at me. That shit don't bother me. <laughs> that shit bothers you. Plato, okay? At the touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. Love is simply the name for the desire and pursuit of the whole. The madness of love is the greatness of heaven's blessings. Okay, y'all just say, yeah, I'm the one to drive y'all crazy. <laughs> I'm the one that y'all make sculptures by. I'm the one that you paint the pictures of. I'm the one. Daniel Stun, I'm the one. I'm the one that the whole floor is talking about. I'm the one that you want to really walk up in your house for real, for real. I'm the one. I'm the captivator. I am the beholder. Bitch, do you hear me? I am everything. And I'm sorry. I'm the one that they talk about at them round tables, honey. Yeah. You know, big dick energy. You see that motherfucking shit? You see all the motherfucking, yeah. They made all of that shit. They was talking about me. They was talking about me. They was talking about me. One touching me, baby. Shit. They be writing poems. They be doing this and this and this and that. <laughs> be driving motherfuckers crazy. I know I do. I know I know. it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers got my name on their tongue. Okay? All right? I am reloaded. Come on now. Love is simply the name of the desire and the pursuit of the whole. Okay. So y'all's just basically saying like. When somebody. I feel like y'all be having like a lot of people. Telling you that they love you very quick. Especially the men. My men Capricorns, like, these girls be falling in love with y'all. Like, they, they probably will go get a mold of y'all penis and have it somewhere up in their goddamn house like some fucking crazy bitches. Like, I'm so serious. I feel like it's you and your boys over there talking. And it's like, literally, it's something about your love that's addictive that drives people crazy. And it's like, these hoes don't love me. They just love my doggy staff. Listen, love is simply the name for the desire and the pursuit of the whole. Look, they just want the whole of me okay these hoes don't love me they just love my doggy style like that's what the hell y'all talking about to y'all friends listen these hoes don't love me they just want to possess the whole of me that's all i'm gonna give them a goddamn sculpture of my dick that's what i'm gonna <laughs> get these bitches listen i'm all this i'm about to become a millionaire i got a motherfucking plan okay i got a mother sucking plan I'm going to go get a sculpture. I'm going to go get me a mold of my dick. And I'm going to just start selling it to these bitches because these hoes is crazy. Do you understand? The whole time they love me. They bitches better love they self. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is such a Capricorn. Like, oh my God, I have so many male friends that is Capricorns. Like, y'all, the man, male Capricorns talk so much big dick energy shit. Oh my God. But they do be running these bitches wild. So it's something that they be doing. Listen, how, listen, y'all, listen, I don't love these hoes. Like, <laughs> the high priestess in the perverse. The high priestess in the perverse. The high priestess could, like, literally, like, especially if y'all are some Capricorn men, y'all could be dealing with some women that are, like, professional sneaky ass bitches. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. It's like they use all their magic and all their gifts for the wrong motherfucking reason. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like she can know that she's hot. She could be a tempstress. She could be like a professional side bitch or some shit. And she fucking loves it. And he loves it too. It's like these little fucking bitches. Like it's like why am I getting like a group of niggas like sitting around talking about like they side hoes or whatever. Talking about these bitches love me. They trying to possess the whole of me and shit. Listen what it says the madness of love is the greatness of heaven's blessing listen i be giving them all that <laughs> these bitches know that they my fucking slide they know they my motherfucking slide like for real for real i ain't even about to play this dumb shit with this goddamn girl she knows she's my motherfucking mistress i don't even know why she over here tripping listen it says 
at the touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. This bitch over there telling me she love me, be sending me sweet texts in the morning. Like, he's literally sitting here talking about this shit with his motherfucking friends. And he's like, having y'all, oh my God. This is some dude talking to his boys about his mistress. Like, this girl just loves attention. And she loves that wand. Do you understand? It's like, she come around whenever I call her type of thing like that. Like, whenever I say jump, she's jumping like rocket high. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person loves attention. Like, she just loves my attention. Listen to the Knight of Cups. So, it's like, I definitely be coming around giving her what she wants emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this person... Whoever this male is, listen, the ace of swords. I feel like this person tells the truth. So it's like this person could be dealing with someone that's a mistress. Like that's what I'm getting right here. Because it's a group of men sitting around talking about their mistress. And they could love attention. These men could be like attention whores. Like they they know. And I and I and I definitely feel like with this Knight of Cups, with this Knight of Cups. This Six of Wands and this Ace of Swords. It's like they tell these women the truth when they come around. You know? They tell them the truth. Like, they love their attention. Like, they these girls may just be mistresses. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, these dudes love the attention. And these girls love the attention that these men are giving to them. So, they're not going to lie to them. Like, these women know that they're the mistress. Know that they're the mistress. And whenever they call... He gonna come. And whenever he won't come, he's going they gonna open up the door for him to arrive. You know what I'm saying? So like they're they're receptive to his gestures. They are receptive to like whatever he wants. See, like this person is very emotionally fulfilled off of all of this attention that they could be getting from all of these other women, these mistresses. These are a lot of fucking cards. There's a queen of cups here, so there's definitely a, a water sign individual. There's someone that is the woman that's at home with the queen of cups and the king of cups. Okay? So yeah, this person is most definitely married and committed with someone. There's a mistress that they're getting attention from at this time. And they're definitely bragging to their boys about right now. This person is very braggadocious or whatever. And, you know, that's what men do. You know, that's what men do. But this girl knows who she is. She knows her position. She knows her role. And I want to say she wears it proudly. Like, seriously. Because even, do you see how he's looking back? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, but I feel like he's, Sneaking to go to his mistress or whatever who truthfully knows this, the truth about the situation. He's in a like an unhappy marriage. The woman that he's dealing with is very insecure and feels some type of way because he is not a faithful loving partner. Do you understand? Like he does he does sneak around. Do you understand? He, he instead of being the king that he's supposed to be, he does sneak around and act like a knight. Like a knight is someone that, it, I mean, really loves the attention and the affection or whatever. Loves to run around and send sneaky messages and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're still dating. You know what I'm saying? Like, a knight is, is someone that is dating. Openly dating. You know what I'm saying? So, openly being receptive to the attention from others do you understand the ten of swords so it's like this person could be trying to get over or what is going on yeah the ten of wands here it's like yeah because there's no love here in the magician okay so it's like this person i feel like It's like they want the aggression to die down in this situation between the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. It's like, I feel like they both love each other, but they don't trust each other and they don't know how to love on each other right now. I definitely feel like they're in the same home. They're definitely in the same home, but they just may not be talking to each other. They may just be doing it for the kids. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, they may just be doing it for the kids right now, but there's no trust. There's no love. I don't feel like there's any intimacy there. Um, I feel like you're just carrying this thing on, waiting for, like, the tension to die out. But I def I don't feel like with this Ace of Cups in the first, I don't feel like there's any love there. But it's like you still won't put it down a little bit. And I want to say like it's definitely two people that are living with each other. They're like they're over each other. Like they're over each other. But it's like they're still carrying it for some reason. And then that's why the person is over here with this magician. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know you have a particular set of skills. You know that you are very enticing and hypnotizing to women. You know, and I feel like you tell them the blunt ass fucking truth and that that's one of your powers too. Like they can know that, like it's like certain women just, that just like being a fucking mit the mistress and like, you, I feel like you know what you're doing with this magician right here. It's like I'm about to pull a rabbit out my head, out out my ass. Like just because I'm not happy at home, don't mean that I'm not going to get the attention and the affection and the love. And I feel like if this person needs someone to cater to the ego, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm still going to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, but I'm still going to carry whatever is going on over here until I'm ready to really put it down. Like, what I'm seeing is, like, you're not ready to put it down yet. Um, give me guidance right here in love for this Capricorn. What is this? The mirror. So, I feel like y'all, like, y'all date women just like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, it's like, why, why, like, I, I, I date sneaky people. You know what I'm saying? Like, the magician. And the high priestess in the reverse, like, that's the same thing. It's just, like, these girls, they don't mind using their gifts in the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not using my gifts in the real, real wrong way. I know how to use my powers to manipulate things to get what I want, but I'm not necessarily doing anything bad. They're doing something wrong because they're sleeping with a married man. I'm telling them the truth. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, see, like, that's the way this person is looking at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she knows that, you know what I'm saying? And she knows she's tempting me and, and, and everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she knows I haven't put this down yet. I was being honest with her. And I told her, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to take the attention. So it says mirroring each other's self-image. Relationships reflecting our wounds, introspection. So it's like you're dating. This man could be, look. Photographs again, like I'm trying to tell you, like someone that reminds him of who he used to be or something. It's like going back to what I know, dating old hoes or something. Yes, ooh, this may be one of your old hoes or something, like someone that there's pictures of you and this person. From the past or something. Like some old hoes or something like that. I'm serious. Like some old hoes, bruh. Someone that you just... This person definitely has memories with. Someone that definitely knows what's going on. Like this person knows what's, what's going on. Yeah, because this person is like, I love you and all of this stuff like that. Like, you don't love me. You just love my doggy style and shit like that. Like, you just trying to... Nah, man. It says, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. So, it's like, this person may want to do this with you all over again. Lightning and sudden change. Like, this may be shocking to you because you just like, man, I thought you knew what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been telling you the truth the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And this person talking to his boys, like, man, this girl talking about old pictures and old shit we used to do. And, like, mm, the, uh, no. Like, no. Like, you already know what it is. You're the mistress. Okay? Like, you're the mistress. Okay? The fuck? I'm about to get this broad a mold in my dick or something like that. 
That's the sudden idea. Like, listen, I gotta, I'm gonna get this bitch a motor my dick. I'm gonna shut this bitch. I'm gonna get her something to look at every day. Listen, cause she don't love me. She just want a piece of me. She just wanna, uh, 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 uh. No. What the fuck? Tell me what's going on over here with this Queen of Cups and this King of Cups. Give me guidance. What's going on with this group over here? You got the cassette. Outdated thinking, but it's like you keep listening to the same shit. It's like, y'all old. You know what I'm saying? Like, this situation is old and it's played out. This is a very old relationship right here. You know what I'm saying? The snake. It says competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. I told you, like... That's why this woman, that's why they don't trust each other. But y'all keep listening to the same shit. And in the paradise card is right here. But this shit was in the reverse. I just flipped it over. Happiness, joy, expansion. Like this isn't paradise. Like this, y'all just keep, it's like a repetitive bullshit with y'all. Like y'all know that each other be slithering around and she should, she could be too. And I just feel like that they just not ready to let that situation go or whatever. So that is shit. He's like, I'm going to go talk to one of my old hoes. Why like, you over here nagging and bitching and shit? And, you know, every other day you want to you wanna be with me. One day you want to be with me. One day you don't. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 look. Why you over there figuring out what you want? I'm a, Okay, you got the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Pentacles and then you got the Nine of Wands here. So... I feel like you have a successful commitment in front of you, Capricorn. I just feel like you need to work on it and y'all need to learn how to, like, put your burdens down where y'all can trust each other or something like that. It's like, with this scarecrow, I feel like... Someone feels very insecure with this Queen of Cups and this King of Cups. It's like y'all just don't trust each other. Like, don't trust each other at all. At all. And it brings, like, a lack of belief that this thing will... It's like you love each other, but it's like, God, I just... Uh, I hate that I love you. You know what I'm saying? If y'all could... Put the put the burdens down and where they don't have to. Because you see like the scarecrow. It's like y'all have to. It's like, God, how do I explain this? Jesus. It's like someone's checking phones, smelling drawers, check, like doing all type of crazy shit to make sure that the other person isn't cheating and. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're constantly trying to scare other people away. Letting people know that you exist so they can back away. Like, this is your crop. This is your family. This is your woman. This is your man. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, y'all, it's like the only way to, like, make this better is if you guys stop sneaking around and... Stop sneaking around. Like, this this could be paradise. It, 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 otherwise, like, you wouldn't keep... Listening to each other, you wouldn't keep listening to the same. Y'all would let it go. But you got the. I told you, you got the other woman over here. But you, you have something that could be permanent. That could be truthful. That could be loyal and all of that stuff. And I, I, I even feel like this. Y'all could have sex with each other without protection. Like y'all, y'all should be able to do that. But it's like. You should definitely protect yourself. The magician in the reverse, like, yeah, like, oh my God. So, I'm serious, like. I feel like this high priestess over here. I feel like this high priestess over here, like, the high priestess in the reverse. She could be using her energy to try to get you to put your guard down with her. Um. 
and stop being so combative with her because she wants to have the ten of pentacles with you and she could be using her gifts and her magic like if this is and you know this is the high priestess you know that this is a sneaky person you know that she would use her energy and her gifts and her sexuality and all of that stuff in the wrong way to get what she wants so you may need to watch out for that because this person is really in love with you she told you that she was in love with you so if you have an unprotected sex world, I would watch out for that because she may be intentionally, you know, like trying to chop someone with a pregnancy for a family. Like, because I don't know. I don't know why I feel like unprotected sex right here, like unprotected. You know what I'm saying? It's like you need a safeguard or something. Like, don't just willingly be going over there and be having unprotected sex with this this girl you know what i'm saying um because this is a woman you see this is a woman right here and it's like she doesn't safely practice her magic like she just be doing anything and really don't know what she doing or don't care about what energy she puts out and how it may rock it boomerang back to her negatively you know what i'm saying it's like she just want what she wants by any means necessary so i want y'all to watch this high priestess this other person on the side here because uh, i feel like she's very manipulative and she's going to get what she wants um she, and she know and the thing is is like she already knows the truth so she it's not like anything is hidden from her so that she doesn't have a safe advantage. Like she has a safe advantage because she already knows what's going on and how to slither around. You know what I'm saying? So she she might make this one wanna go away. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious. I'm serious. And again, let me read it the other way. So you, young man, you already have a you have a family. I feel like you are not safeguarding your relationship. You're not protecting it. You're not scaring the old crows and the old hoes away. I don't feel like you are protecting what is your home. Like you're not putting your boundaries up. You know? I feel like this magician card in the reverse... You know what you're doing. You're very aware of what you're doing. And you know what you put out, it comes back. So I don't want to hear nothing when you get negative recourses coming back to hit you. You know what I'm saying? When safety is not at your home because you didn't protect it. You know what I'm saying? So... You, you you got this nice happy house and everything like that, but you're not protecting it. And you need to watch out because everything that you're doing is going to come back and it's going to hit you. What is this, bitch? This is the devil in the reverse. This entanglement that you got going on with this high priestess in the reverse, you know this shit ain't cool. You're definitely in a full-on love affair. I mean, you, you are most definitely having a love affair with you have a mistress and I, I feel like this shit is going to be exposed because you too wrapped up you too entangled with this person and she gonna do what she want to do what is this the eight of wands so you're going to receive some fast communication um it's like completion of some sort like something went through something happened what is this the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles in, is in the reverse. So, oh gosh. So you may be getting like a lot of communication about having to give something. It's like constantly having to give like you wrapped up. Y'all, I, I, I feel like someone might trick y'all into like some type of pregnancy or something. Like having an outside family somewhere. It's like this person may try to get pregnant again. You know what I'm saying? Because she don't want to let go. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, like, using some type of spells, some magic work. Using, like, you got the magician in the reverse and the devil in the reverse. I mean, it can literally just be, like, someone, like, intentionally not having, uh, having unprotected sex or something like that. Like, this is not protecting your family. 
from something. And like this person is able to crawl in. And listen, now this person's going to be begging you forever. You know what I'm saying? Like you may be getting some communication about um, you're having to be permanently obligated to this person now. Like <laughs> this person I'm really slithered into your paradise and completely disrupted it now. Like I, I really do feel like that. Y'all, I got to go. Like, if y'all want to know more what's going on in this story, y'all going to have to hit me up for a personal reading. I can't do no more. I definitely feel like I've overextended myself. Listen, I love y'all. Thank you for loving yourself. Y'all hit that like button, man. Mm. Y'all, mm. 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 Look at this, man. Just look. The magician and the fucking devil. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Like, this person is addicted. Jesus, I love y'all. Peace.